Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com and it's time for our sneak peek to this week's Sizzix Spectacular Savings Event or Spectacular Sizzix Savings Event, however you want to put it. Now this is a really, really impromptu event. Normally, Sizzix is at the beginning of the month, absolutely. And honestly, I didn't think I was going to have one for this Friday, any kind of event. Not a Say Yes to Spellbinders or a Stampendous event, nothing. I thought I'd just let this, this Friday kind of come and go, being that Christmas is on Sunday and everybody's so, so busy. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought, no, there's got to be something, something that I can bring to the table that is wahoo ka -choo. So then I started to think about what was I going to teach on Saturday? Because I am doing a full YouTube class on Saturday, a Saturday with Stacy class, absolutely. And when I thought about it, I'm like, huh, I'm doing that product. I wonder if I could convince them, the manufacturer, Sizzix, to work with me on this product. And of course they did. Now, let me tell you a little story. So first off, what is a spectacular Sizzix savings event? Well, just like a Say Yes to Spellbinders or um, Make It Memorable with Memory Box event, we do an event every Friday where we bring you the latest and greatest from these manufacturers, the latest and greatest from these manufacturers at value pricing from the get-go. I mean, it is amazing what we're able to, to bring to you to make crafting affordable, to keep it affordable. And, and the sale starts Friday at noon, sunny California time. Typical, everything's going to run exactly the same. We'll have the product loaded Friday at noon. But this time, I'm going to carry this product over into the YouTube because there's a really, I think there's a really great teachable moment for all of us on Saturday. Now the story, I want to tell you this story because that will explain a little bit about the product that I have for you today to sneak peek to you. We are a small independent retail store. We have an actual brick and mortar store downstairs. We're tucked all the way back in the furthest corner in a a uh, uh, strip mall plaza that has a liquor store in it. It has a it has a, a Taco Bell in it and right next door to us is a head shop. I had no idea what a head shop was when I rented the space. My husband had to explain to me what it was and if you don't know what it is go ask somebody who might know but and they're very nice people. We've been here for a very very long time but I had no idea what where I was renting into. So we've been, we've been in the retail store for many, many, many years, 16, 17 years, something like that. And, and then we have our, our little warehouse, warehouse, <laughs> storeroom upstairs. And that's where I, that's where I tape in Mr. SMS's office. So we do business with Ellison Sizzix and we've done business with them for years and years and years. I mean, I've been with them since the day they brought out the Sizzix red machine that you crank down. And I remember the individual letters being sold at Michael's and, and you'd have to collect A, B, C, and there was shadow box and there was lollipop. And I mean, they were green and red and blue. So I've been with Ellison Sizzix for a super, super long time and I've seen the evolution of their machines and their tools through the years. There's not a lot of people who can say that they've been with a company for close to 20 years because we started online before we had the retail store and have seen every progression of how they've modernized and made advances in die cutting technology. So we, we're, a, we're a small little independent store here and and I'm downstairs in the retail store and the stock room is upstairs and the elevator does not work. So there is an elevator here, but when we signed our lease, we had to agree that they would not be fixing the elevator. It went out in the 1984 earthquake and so stairs, that's our only option is stairs up and down and up and down and up and down. <laughs> so most of the product gets delivered upstairs and I hear, I hear, you can hear it from downstairs. You can hear them rolling the product on the tile outside the the walkway here. In fact, you might even hear it if they roll anything, if they roll some carts up, you will hear it go and and, um, and then we bring it in and we sort it out and we put it all away. 
So I'm downstairs and it's just a normal day and I hear a delivery being made upstairs and I hear Rrr. so I'm like, okay, we got a delivery. And then I hear Rrr. and I'm like, hmm, that's odd. We don't generally get that much product. And then I hear again, Rrr. so the, the driver had gone, had rolled one delivery, gone to his truck, brought in another delivery, gone to his truck, brought in another delivery. By the time I heard the third rolling of heavy product down the tile, I'm like, okay, I gotta see what's going on. What is this? So I run upstairs. Now, run might be a little bit overstating it. <laughs> I go as fast as my, well, I probably was a little bit faster then because I was in my 40s. <laughs> But I hoof it upstairs and I see these pallets, massive, massive pallets, three of them right in a row. And I'm like, what is this? We are a little independent store, okay? Pallets, sometimes we'll get a pallet of something, but usually it's a small pallet. It's not like pallet. These pallets were over six feet tall and four by four or five by five, huge. So the, the, the truck driver, starts he's coming down with his fourth one and i'm like wait stop you have to stop and he's like ma'am these are for you and i'm like what is it this can't be for us what is it and i'm looking and i i see that they are ellison sizzix big shot machines hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of big shot machines. I think there were 200 machines on every pallet. Cause you know how pallets, they stack them and they, he said, ma'am, these are yours. And I have eight pallets for you. I have eight pallets for us. Wait, wait a minute. No. So I'm whipping out my phone. Cause I'm going to call Ellison. What is going on? And I look at the bill of lading and the bill of lading and the address on the bill of lading, lo and behold, has somebody else's name and somebody else's address, not mine. They were for scrapbook.com, scrapbook.com. But the trucking company was so used to making deliveries here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, they just saw Scrapbook and drove them here. And so I'm calling Ellison and they're calling the trucking company because they can't leave them. We have no place to put them. I mean, I can't afford them. Forget about no place to put them. This is out of my league. <laughs> so the guy, the driver's like, I can't put them back on, on the truck. We're not paid to put them back on the truck. And I'm like, you have to put them back on the truck. And I'm talking to Ellison and they're trying to call the driver, uh, the, the trucking company and the driver's trying to call his supervisor and his supervisor's saying no. And I'm saying, yes. <laughs> It took about an hour before it was finally worked out that they had to go back on the truck. I didn't let him take any more off the truck. And then they had to get the other four back on the truck and either take them back to Ellison or finally forward them off to scrapbooking or scrapbook.com. See, even I do it, <laughs> scrapbook.com. But in that moment, in that moment, I clearly understood the difference between a mom and pop company and a global online retailer. Not that there's anything wrong with being a global online retailer. Absolutely not. They are able to do things that we cannot do. I can't ship 12 by 12 paper. I can't, we're just not good at it. But God bless scrapbook.com. They sell 12 by 12 paper by the sheet. And if you were to call us and ask, do you ship 12 by 12 paper? We would say no, but here's a couple other online retailers that do. Or if you have an independent store, go visit them first. And scrapbook.com would be one of those companies because they do have, I think they are inside their, their, they have a supermarket. They took over an old supermarket and they're automated and they have conveyor belts. And I mean, God bless their pee picking heart. Yay. <laughs> But it really, sometimes you need a visual to understand just where you are in the pecking order and seeing all of those big shop machines. I'm like, holy smokes, artichokes. And I'm doing the math in my head because that's me. I'm like, okay, 
I know how much we pay for them, but of course they're going to get a much better deal than we are. So if we deduct this and I multiply it by that and my mouth, <laughs> I think they bought in machines. <laughs> like what our annual sales are. <laughs> so, so again, kind of, kind of put into perspective where we are. So fast forward this week. And I know what I'm going to do on Saturday. In fact, I'm doing Simply Defined and Simply Refined. We're blowing it out. And I, I know that that's what we're going to do. In fact, a customer had called and asked me, are you going to do anything on Christmas? And at the time, I'm like, I don't think so. And then I thought about it. Well, maybe I should. <laughs> I want to say, I don't know if her name was Cindy, but she's like, she said, I opened my door and greeted my guests with my laptop. <laughs> started like on Christmas so she said I told everybody get in and then I I went shopping because we put to find and refined on sale which are my products my dyes and and so at, at a deeply discounted price so I thought you know we can do that again this year because I'm not sure when the next warehouse sale is going to be so we'll do that and then I started thinking but I have to cut them with something I have to I have to use a die cutting machine and you know me I use my Sizzix Big Shot machine almost every YouTube because it is a workhorse. It is a workhorse. There is nothing wrong with any of the other machines made by any of the other manufacturers. We sell Spellbinders. The Spellbinders Platinum Machine is a great machine. You just have to go with the one that works best for you. And for me, most of the time, it is a Sizzix Big Shot machine. So, so I called them and I said, gosh, it's a shame we don't sell very many Big Shot machines because we don't. In reality, we don't sell very many big shot machines at all. We can't. We can't compete with a company that can bring in eight pallets of big shot machines. <laughs> we don't even try. We kind of pick our lane and stay in it. And, and that's always been kind of a bone of contention because I know Ellison would like us to sell more machines because I use it all the time, but I can't do it if I can't be competitive. I don't want you to pay more than you should. I mean, we'd love you to support us, thank you very much, but if another company has got it for a better price, shop there. <laughs> You know, it's about keeping crafting affordable and allowing you to have the products to do that craft. So yes, we appreciate your support, absolutely. But on a, something like a big shot machine, where it almost becomes a commodity where you're really shopping price because the machine is the same no matter where you get it from, well, you know, we kind of bowed out of that business because really, scrapbook.com and several others do it so, so well. But then this week happened and I was on the scrapbook.com website, which I don't go to very often. I mean, maybe twice, three times a year, I'll pop over there. And, and it's a beautiful website. They really do a beautiful job. And I typed in Big Shot Machine because I wanted to see what they were selling it for to see if it was even something that we could potentially offer. And I noticed something different. I noticed that where their bundles used to have all the Sizzix dies with them, now their they're Sizzix Big Shot Machines feature scrapbook.com dies, nesting dies, all sorts of dies that you get this bundle price. And I'm like, huh. Years ago, when I, I mean years ago, because it's been a while since I've looked, they would bundle their Sizzix machine with Sizzix nested dies. But like me, I have Simply Defined, they went out and started what they call private labeling or OEMing their own product, manufacturing their own product. And now they're bundling their machine with their dies. And that's really giving you an amazing value. So again, I'm kind of like, well, I think we're just gonna stick in our own lane. And I had reached out to, ta-da, it's Taylor and oh so clever Karina. And I, I said, you know, we were thinking about this, but I just don't think we can make it work. I understand we don't buy as much as they do. And, you know, there's price points and there's tiers. And I can't expect to be treated the same or pay the same if I can only buy 10 machines as opposed to somebody who can buy thousands of machines. I get that. And they said, well, what if we could work it out so it was really, really close? I said, what's really, really close? <laughs> And so they put a bundle together. Only we're using 
their dies, Sizzix dies. Not that there is anything wrong with the scrapbook.com dies, absolutely not. But I've never used them before. I've only used the Sizzix brand. Well, uh, you know, and memory box and spell binders. And, and so I thought, well, if they could come close and we could feature their dies in the bundle, then that's kind of a win-win. You're supporting the company who makes the machine. You're buying the dies from the company that makes the machine. And we're able to maybe bring it to you pretty close to what scrapbook.com has it for, only featuring and supporting the company who started the entire commercial die cutting to crafters business. <laughs> You know, they, they, I, I, I applaud scrapbook.com for what they do, but gosh, they might want to think about manufacturing their own die cutting machine. Why not? I mean, if they're doing their own dies, that would make the most sense. I can't, I can't do a die cutting machine, no. But gosh, wouldn't that, wouldn't that make the most sense? And when we put this bundle together, I didn't pull dies from my collection to bundle with this. I thought, no, we need to support the manufacturer. So let's use Sizzix dies. I could have pulled out dies from my collection. I could have pulled out must-haves or something and said, okay, I want to bundle your machine. I want to take the best of what you do, Sizzix. I want to take the best of what you do. And then I want to use my product with it. <laughs> I'm like, that just doesn't seem quite right. You're taking, you're taking the best of what a company has and then not pairing it with the other thing they do pretty darn good, their dies. So, so we put together a bundle and you may already have a die cutting machine. You may already have a Big Shot or a Platinum or a Gemini. And not only are we gonna bring you the die cutting machine with a bundle that is pretty well close price to scrapbook.com only using Sizzix dies, on Saturday, I'm going to be doing a YouTube. It's not so much a do's and don'ts of the Sizzix Big Shot machine. It's more a do's and don'ts of the tools for the Sizzix Big Shot machine. Yep, the tools. So if you've got a machine, but you don't know how some of these tools work in this machine, normally a do's and a don'ts, I will take 10 different types of dies. They're bigs and they're sizzlets and they're framelets and they're thinlets. And I will show you how they work in the machine. This time I'm going to be taking my dies. I'm going to take my dies that are going to be on clearance and I'm going to work with the tools from Sizzix. So on Friday for Expedited, I have an amazing Sizzix Big Shot Machine bundle just for you. And then all of the tools for that machine are going to go on sale as well. On Saturday, I'm going to take tool by tool because we've always sold the tools. That's nothing new. We've been selling a, a multi-purpose platform forever and a magnetic platform forever and a, a dimensional platform and a, um, a crease pad and a squishy and a knock knock. So on Saturday, I'm going to take each one of those tools and I'm going to use them with my dies that I feel okay doing about. But putting my dies with their bundle, with their machine, I'm like, yeah, I don't think that's okay. I think that we have to support them. So I'm going to show you the bundle. I'm going to tell you the price. This is not a one-time only deal. Ellison Sizzix has said, listen, we're going to set this many aside for you and you can have them until you sell this many. And that could be in a week. It could be a month. It could be six months. I don't know. We don't sell lots of machines, but we've never been able to offer it at this type of price before. Just like the switch machine. When we were able to bring you the switch machine for, I think we started it at $169.99 and then it went to $199.99 and, and then and then we got the Sorbet switch machine for $259. So I, or $255, gosh, I don't know. So, so we've never been able to offer a bundle like this before for a Sizzix machine with the product that we have. And then, and then for the YouTube on Saturday, which I know you're all gonna be busy, but it's going to be a teachable moment that you are going to potentially want to refer back to again and again and again, because it isn't so much about 
what different dyes work in the machine. It's about how to take the tools that they've manufactured for this machine and use them. And if you have any family, uh, any, any, any family member of the Sizzix Big Shot, you've got the plus, the pro, the fold away, you've got the big kick. They don't even make it anymore, I don't think. You, you know, which, which big shot or big kick do you have? Do you have an old, do you have an old um, Hello Kitty pink one? These products are still going to work in those machines. So, so I'm going to show you the bundle. I know I've talked a lot, but I kind of needed to, to kind of put things in perspective and tell you this isn't about this isn't about a bundle price, you know, a, a card bundle or new dies. This is about this is about taking their machine that I use every single week and finally being able to play in a sandbox that we haven't been able to play in before. The the scrapbook.com and and you know Simon says stamp sandbox. That's in a different level than us. And we acknowledge that it's okay. I mean, I'm good with who we are. But gosh, if we can bring you something that is fabulous and supports the manufacturer and allows us to play in a sandbox we've never been able to play in before, well, either I'm gonna get sand kicked in my eyes <laughs> or it's gonna be a resounding success. Either way, with my dad on my shoulder, if you don't try, you'll never know. My dad, you gotta try. If you don't try, then you're, you're, you're admitting defeat before, before even starting. So, I mean, that was my dad, try it. If he would say, try it, do something. Actually, it was what my dad would say, do something. If it's wrong, even if it's wrong, you'll fix it. You'll learn from it and you'll fix it. And if it's right, you'll grow from it. But if you don't do anything, if you stand there and do nothing, that is what you will get. Nothing. And and so I'm gonna try. We're gonna see. This is a this is a big jump for scrapbooking made simple without question. Not that we could ever be either of those two companies, nor do we want to. What they do is so amazing. I mean, Simon has Simon has everything Tim Holtz you could ever want. And, you know, we kind of dip our toe in the Tim Holtz bucket and, you know, we bring it to you at a price that we're, we feel is a really great price when we do it. And scrapbook.com, by gosh, they have everything under the sun and their website's so pretty. <laughs> but for now, for now, we're just gonna stay scrapbooking made simple. And I am okay with that. And I know you are okay with that. We each, each company out there from, from all of the, the online companies, everybody does something just a little bit different than everybody else, giving you a reason to visit all the different online stores. Some of them specialize in certain manufacturers, others specialize in tools, others are like me with, with teachable moments and trying to keep crafting affordable. It, there's a reason for all of us out there. So um, I'm a little, you know, this is a big step for us to, to kind of go from like the little kid sandbox to a little bit, you know, to the intermediate kid sandbox, but we're gonna try. And I'm grateful that you give me the grace that if it doesn't work out, well, we tried. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you the bundle that we have for you. I'm going to tell you the price of the bundle, and then I'm gonna walk through some of the tools just a little bit, because on Saturday, I'm going to use each and every one of these tools so you can see what it is they really are supposed to do. Who knew that's what you were supposed to use it for, right? Okay, so let me, I'm gonna tilt on over. I'm gonna move this over. I don't know how far back I can go. Let's see. And I'm gonna tilt on down and I'm gonna show you, okay. I have got a Big Shot machine right here. Hello. It is the standard Big Shot machine, which means it has a six inch wide opening. So I would say approximately 95% of the dies that are currently out on the market will go through this machine. This machine has seen an evolution over the years. It started as a, a, a red, 
machine that you pushed down with a lever and then they started with the rolling machine and Kevin keeper of the secret sauce is so responsible for the evolution of this machine he's had his fingers involved in this and his thought processes and his crazy ideas to get this machine to what it is today and in fact allows it to now be a Big Shot Plus where it's got an eight inch wide opening or a fold away where you have a space saver. But this time we're doing the standard Big Shot Plus. And to go with it, and everything you're gonna need to use it is inside. I'm gonna open it on, I'm gonna show you everything that you get on Saturday. So everything is gonna be inside. To go with it, they've included some nesting dies and these are framelits now the funny thing about these framelits is i'm the one who launched these i don't know 10 12 years ago i actually launched this for ellison years and years and years ago and they still are as tried and true as they ever have been and the difference between some of the uh, between ellison and some of the other manufacturers is that their framelits are see what you cut cut what you see and i will explain that on saturday but you're going to receive the ovals you're going to receive the squares you're going to receive the circles and then they've included a tag set so four different die sets four different die sets all included and then because you already get the cutting plates inside here you already get the the platform inside there it comes with it they said what does Stacy do more than anybody else well she uses a squishy and a knock knock so they're not really called a squishy and a knock knock they're called a silicone pad and a, an impression pad we call them a squishy and a knock knock and I'll tell you about that maybe on the Saturday class but you're going to include those are also going to come with your bundle so you're looking at the machine itself plus all the dies plus the squishy and the knock knock now the retail value retail value is here I want to look at you because I don't like to not look at you oh I'm at I'm already as far back as I can go retail value is $255 I know yikes I know <laughs> I feel you and before today maybe we would be able to do maybe $199 uh, you know maybe 209 that would really be our best price because in reality machines die cutting machines are very much like electronics there's no margin in them Ellison is not there's not a lot of money in die cutting machines they're expensive to manufacture they're expensive to research and develop to make the molds it's it's an expensive process so the margins on the machines are very very small so they couldn't they they can't give me what they don't have if they're not making a large margin on it they can't give me a large discount but the dies they had a little bit more wiggle room in and obviously this is a standard die they do it all the time it's something that they carry all the time so instead of the 255 dollars that this bundle would run we have it for 149 dollars and 99 cents on an everyday value you don't have to rush to buy it it's not i mean the allison's like what do you mean you don't have to go get it right now Sizzix is like wait what you don't have to you don't have to run to the computer to get it today because I won't have it for you next week. This is an ongoing thing that I will have until we sell out. Oh, can you hear it? <laughs> See? Now imagine eight of those. <laughs> So I will have this bundle until we sell out and then when we sell out what they said is well We'll talk about it and see how it went and if it went okay Like it didn't take me ten years to sell out then we can swap we can do a couple different dies or we'll, we'll figure something out but for hundred and forty nine ninety nine and Shipping I can't ship this for free and this is being drop shipped from Ellison so no free shipping I don't know that that's just the way it is I can't I can't do anything about that but for your $149.99 plus shipping 
I think that you're going to get something that you can be happy with from the moment you've got it and you can be comfortable with knowing that the price you paid was more than fair. I think that that I think that comes close to what scrapbook.com does even though they buy a bajillion machines so that lets us play in their sandbox just a little bit even dip a toe in the sandbox and gives us as an independent retailer the opportunity to reach customers who love other you know who loves other independents they, they want to shop independent so I'm excited to have this I'm grateful to have this this isn't something that just um, it was a whole conversation and it was a last minute conversation. This came about in about in, in like two days. <laughs> I said, do you think we could? And they're like, hmm. So if you are looking for a big shot machine and you have it on a, a wish list or or you're hoping that maybe for Mother's Day or for Valentine's Day or just because you deserve it, <laughs> just because you deserve it day. We hope that you give us the consideration as well when you're shopping about because now I can look at you and say, we're pretty comparable to everybody else. So now it's a matter of who's offering what dies to go with it and where you want to where you want to place your order. And if it's not with us, that's OK, too, as long as you feel comfortable in in having the machine. Let me teach you how to use it doesn't matter that it didn't come from me. That's okay. Let me teach you how to use it to get the most from it. And then, then you're able to maybe take a little bit of money and maybe you spend it with Simon Says Stamps and maybe, maybe scrapbook.com has something exclusive that you just love, love, love and you, you spend it with them. I know that there's other online retailers out there and, and maybe just like with little independent stores, if you dribble a little bit here, a little bit of your cash here and, and everywhere, then we all get to stay in business. And for that, we are all grateful. <laughs> and if we support the manufacturers by using their products in the bundles with their machine, then it's a win-win-win. The manufacturer wins because we're using their products and, and telling you and teaching you about their machine. We're winning because this is the first time we've ever been able to offer something like this to you. And you're winning because, well, you get a great product that is tried and true. And whether you buy it from us, you buy, Amazon has, yes, Amazon has big shop machines. And yes, you might find yourself shopping there too. It's okay. <laughs> we understand. But then let me teach you how to use it because Amazon isn't going to do that for you. So $149.99 gets you everything, plus shipping. Can't do shipping for free. It's going to drop ship straight from Ellison. And then on Saturday, we are going to walk through. Let me put my glasses on real quick. Gosh, oh, here they are. Put my glasses on real quick. On Saturday, along with my dyes, because I was going to show my die, I was doing my dies anyway, and I was going to use a big shot because I always use a big shot. We are going to play with things like the multi-purpose platform. Do you need it? Do you want it? Why do you need it? Why do you want it? What do you do with it? What's the benefit of having it? Versus a dimensional plate. Did you know that they make a dimensional plate? versus did you know that Ellison makes, oh, I don't know, a million different colors of their cutting plates? And then there's there's Sticky Grid. What's the real reason behind Sticky Grid? Everybody uses it for just about everything except for what it was meant for. So let's show you what Sticky Grid was meant for. And their adhesive sheets. What can you do with their adhesive sheets? Why would you want their adhesive sheets? Are they different than sticky dots from Scrapbooking Made Simple? Yes, yes they are. We've got the magnetic platform. Do you need a magnetic platform? Well, that really depends upon what you do. You might find that you need a magnetic platform, but it doesn't come with your machine. And then there's the crease pad. This is a thud pad. What do you do with a thud pad? Why would I want a thud pad? What did they invent a thud pad for? Is it really called a thud pad? No, it's called a crease pad, but there's a reason we call it a thud pad. And then a precision base plate. 
but do I need a precision base plate? I don't know. You might. I don't know what kind of dies you do, but when you understand the dies and the difference in the dies, well, this may be a life saver for you and, and a, a, a game changer at the same time. So we're going to walk through all of these products and I'm going to show you how to use them and why you want to use them. And maybe, maybe it confirms that you don't need them after all, or maybe it explains, oh yeah, that would be really good for me to have handy if I'm going to be doing this type of die cutting. But it gives you the opportunity to make the decision on what works best for you. Knowledge is power. And if you know how to use the tools that you own, that's powerful because that makes you more creative. That gives you opportunities to do things you didn't know you could do before. So, I hope you join me Saturday morning, and if not, I mean, we'll be live chatting during the next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class. If you can't join me Christmas Eve, I understand, <laughs> but I do hope that you come back and watch the video, because yes, it will have Simply Defined and Simply Refined on sale, absolutely. But more importantly, we're going to walk you through not just the machine. I'm not going to bring out all the dies and all the different embossing folders and how they work inside the machine. I'm going to show you the tools of the machine. I have a do's and don'ts. I have a few do's and don'ts of the Big Shot machine. And one of them has over a million views on it. And that will show you all the different dies that you can do and the different sandwiches that you're going to need. Now let's look a little deeper into the tools that they've manufactured for this machine. The, the Kevin Keeper of the secret sauce, his thought process of why we need this or, or ideas that came out of the art department because they were manufacturing, they were making samples at Sizzix and said, wouldn't it be nice if, and then they manufactured it. So it is me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com, letting you know that the Sizzix tools and the Sizzix Big Shot machine will go on sale Friday, <laughs> Friday, December 23rd at 12 noon, sunny California time. That would be 2 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Eastern, or 11 p.m. in the United Kingdom. Please know we cannot ship the Big Shot machine internationally, not to Canada, not to Australia, not to Italy, not to Russia, not to um, I, uh, Fiji, <laughs> not to Tahiti. No, <laughs> can't ship it anywhere internationally, but we can ship it to the United States. So as long as you are a US based, and, and, and sometimes that means that that you may be stationed. So a US based station, I, I think also counts. I'm hoping I'll find out for sure, but we can ship it inside the United States. Um, but you're still going to want to learn how to use it because even if you are in Canada or Australia or the UK or Italy or Spain or France, a big shot machine is a big shot machine is a big shot machine and how you use it doesn't matter where you live. It's all creativity in the making. So it is me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will see you Saturday morning for the next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class. And all of the tools that I have just shown you will go on sale Friday at noon, sunny California time, and then continue on as part of the YouTube. So until then, happy holidays. I hope you're done wrapping your gifts. I haven't even started. Tomorrow we have the SMS uh, Christmas party. So we will be live chatting at 3 p.m. sunny California time. That's 5 p.m. Central and 6 p.m. Eastern. Until then, bye everybody.